Welcome back to the introduction to machine learning. In the previous lesson, we trained our machine learning models. Now we're going to check that they're not overfitted. So questions you might have, how do I check whether my model is overfitted? And therefore we're gonna determine whether your models are overfitted. As discussed in the lesson on mathematical foundations, overfitting should be avoided. Comparing a machine learning model's output distribution for the training and testing sets is a popular way to check for overfitting. This function compare train test will plot the shape of the machine learning model's output for each class and overlay it in the training set. You can find the code to plot the overfitting check in this link here, and we're just going to load it. So we use the random forest classifier, the training data, training labels, testing data, and the testing labels. and then give a label to our. The lesson webpage, first of all, if overfitting were present, the dots, the test set, would be very far from the bars, such as these ones. Overfitting might look something like this. But in our case, the orange signal dots overlap nicely with the orange signal histogram bars, training set. Same goes for the blue background. And this overlap indicates that no overtraining is present. All good, happy days. So a challenge for you is to make this same overfitting check for your neural network and decide whether any overfitting is present. So pause this video and try and work that out. Once you've done that, we can go on to comparing our machine learning models. Key points from this lesson on an overfitting check is that it's a good idea to check your models for overfitting and see you in the next lesson on comparing our machine learning.